welcome back once again with IELTS reading by question type. My name is Asad Yaqub and I am from Pakistan and I teach IELTS online on Skype and I teach IELTS classes as well here in Lahore. So if you want to join me, you can join me. The next type of question which we are going to discuss is short answer question short answer question now in IELTS reading there is another important type of question which is short answer question where they are going to ask you a question and you got to answer in three words maximum right uh, you know already in IELTS listening and IELTS reading your answer should not exceed three words one word minimum and maximum three words and every word is counted even article is counted right so try not to write more than three words otherwise they're going to cross your answer so in short answer question the first technique or the first uh, tip is for you that you need to understand the question and uh, how will you understand the question read the question carefully and when you read the question because you know in short answer question most of the questions are with WH questions you know WH questions I explained them in uh, listening video as well if they are going to ask you a question with what it means there is going to be something there's going to be a procedure there's going to be a method there's going to be you know something or the answer is going to be a noun then if the question is asked with where 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 means a location where means a place it means to answer that very question you need to find that place and that is going to be the answer if the question starts with who who means a person right it can be a scientist it can be an engineer it can be a proper noun right so who means a person or the type of person who is going to do something uh, or the question is about a person next is why we use why for the reasons when there is why it means there is a reason the answer is going to be the reason you got to find that very reason and there you're going to find the answer and if the question is with when when means a date or a time right or it can be the time of the day time of the month or time of the year when is actually for the time period so you got to see if the question starts with when then you got to look for the time when something happens and if the question starts with how it means the method or manner how something is done so you got to find that very method or that very manner how something is done so in short answer question the first key is you need to understand wh questions and you should be very clear after reading the question that okay for this answer I need a location for this answer I need something for this answer I need the name of a person for this answer I need the reason for this answer I need uh, the method or manner how something is done when you are clear about this then you can easily go to the passage and find it and please try to translate all the questions quickly into your native language because when you translate the questions into your native language you can understand them better they can be here because when you are looking for the answers the questions should be here if the questions are here then you can look for the answers and you can find the answers as well one thing second thing is this after reading the question you need to underline the clue words or you need to underline the words the words that are going to take you the part of the passage where the answer is so you got to see what clue words can help you sometimes the clue words can be proper nouns sometimes the clue words can be the pro procedures or processes or sometimes the clue words can be the names of people names of places a date you know or it can be a year so you got to see what clue word is there and then you got to start scanning for that clue word if the clue word is irreplaceable you can directly look for that word but if the clue word is replaceable then you can look for the similar words or the similar ideas Ideas. you got to pick up the idea from the question if the clue words are not clear just pick up the idea of the question and then see in the passage in which paragraph they mention that very idea once you find the paragraph then start reading the paragraph read the lines and once you read the lines you can understand and you can easily find the answer remember when the question is about short answer question you got to write the answer exactly as it is written in the passage it's a very important tip for example if the answer is television 
and in the passage they have written television t e l e v i s i o n in your answer sheet you are going to write television now if there in the passage they have written television and you write tv the short form of television your answer is going to be considered wrong so they are this much sensitive okay so you got to see whatever is written in the passage however it is written you got to write it in the same manner because you know you got to select the word from the passage so i hope these tips are going to help you and short answer question is very simple it's not difficult at all there is a straight away question you got to read the question and you got to give the answer and uh, follow my tips and if you like this video please hit on like button and one more thing if you want to know further subscribe this channel on youtube definitely you will learn a lot about ielts from this channel and if you have any query or comments you can comment it in the comment box i will read and i will try to answer your comments as well i wish you a great bench score in ielts see you soon